channel so today's video is going to be about vendors I'm quite sure there's quite a few videos here on YouTube um, about people sharing their vendors first I'd like to show you guys my background hope you guys can see it showing different things that I do color and silk presses locks I was custom making shoes um, I make wigs and install them and I was doing custom shoes as well. Also, this hair wrap that I have on is a hair wrap that I made. I make hair wraps, machine sew hair wraps, and I sell them on my website. I will have my website uh, linked down below if you want to purchase one. This one is available on my website as well. But yeah, this one is, I think it's 70 Whew, I think it's 73 inches long, 74, maybe longer. Um, it is stretchable. I think it's like a jersey knit. But whenever you go to my website, you can check out uh, in the descriptions. It lets you know how long the um, hair wraps is. So, back to what we was talking about. So, I brought my laptop down here because I want to mention or give you guys a few vendors that I use that you don't have to wait to get approved for. Um, I will have their links in the description bar below as well so you guys can go to it. Some of them, uh, Most of them have limits on how much you can purchase. So my first order in the last video I mentioned my first order I purchased was a hundred and like eighty seven dollars um, and it was just some basic stuff I got some stocking caps some wig caps rubber bands duck clips uh, butterfly clips clips combs and you know little knickknack stuff like that and it came most of them came in quantities or into a 12 um, the hair rollers came in a quantity of six so that's not bad for a total of $187 to have like quite a bit in there. I'll show a clip of what I got coming up right now. So you guys seen what I have. And so that was a hundred, like I said, in like $87. So the next thing I had ordered, I ordered some like um, uh, shelving and pegboards and I got that from Uline and Uline is a great way to also build your uh, business credit. That would be in a whole nother video, but I got a um, some pegboards that you've seen on the wall and I also got this, the wire, the metal shelf that you've seen as well. So on my computer, I had to grab my computer because of course that's where I do all my business and save everything so I'm going to break it down on how I do this video and future videos so in this video I am going to tell you the vendors that you can use without having to um, verify any information I'm guess um, and what you should get to start your business out with. And I know every state is different. So first I want to say what, I'm a hairstylist. So I've been doing hair since I've been out the military. To that, well, I got medically discharged after military in 2013. So I started doing hair in 2012 and I've been doing hair ever since. But I didn't register my business until 2016. And so what I did is I first registered my business, got a got an LLC, and I did it through. Excuse me, guys. Ugh, ugh. I got it through the state website, 
So if somebody tells you that they can get you an LLC for $200 and all that stuff, y'all don't do it. Just Google LLC for whatever your state is. Um, I'm in Colorado, so I went to the Colorado State Gov website. I mean, if I Google it, it'll pull it right up. I don't know the name of the website. I just know it was the state government website. You can register your business name and get an LLC. I think I paid like $100, I think, at most. After I did that, I went on the IRS website, irs.gov, and I got an EIN number. An EIN number is free. Don't let nobody say they'll charge you. It's free. Free, free, free. EIN number, free, okay? So, I got an EIN number. I registered that. Um, then I went, so for the state of Colorado, Colorado, I don't know about other states, so for the state of Colorado, for certain businesses, you do not need a business license. So, for a beauty supply store, I don't need a business license, but I do need to have my sales tax license and my city sales tax license. So I need my state, which is, you know, for the whole state of Colorado, and then I need my city sales tax license. So, okay. So I don't need a business license. So I got my EIN, my LLC, my sales tax, city sales tax, um, my website. Now, I have a business PayPal, but everything I do for my business is ran through Square. My website, I built it myself. I didn't pay nobody. It, might, it took me like a week. I just wanted to do it myself. I didn't want to have too much on there. I didn't want to have too little. I just wanted to be just right for what I needed. So I did my website through Square Up, and that's where I have my car readers through, all that stuff. So when somebody purchased something on my site, it goes straight to my Square account, and I could transfer it straight to my business account. I don't need all that extra stuff going on. Of course, there's a fee, but the fee is not too bad. I mean, everybody charges a fee nowadays. Cash out, PayPal, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I use Square. And like I said, all this stuff will be linked down below um, to their website so you can sign up if you haven't done that before. As far as your sales tax license, I mean, I can't give you the website for that because, like I said, every state is different. But I will put Colorado's down there just in case somebody's watching there from Colorado, okay? Um, you also want to get a Sam's and Dunn's number. That's good to get, you know, if you're trying to get business credit, grants, and all that stuff, you need that. It's kind of hard for me to explain it. I really don't know too much about it. I just know I have it. It's free. You don't have to pay for that. I will have that down below as well. Um, so, yeah. So, what I do is, I don't know if you can see. So on my computer, you can't really see it because it's the light got a blur, which is good because it got all my, it got like personal information on there and whatnot. But so on here is, you see sticky notes on my laptop. And with those sticky notes, it's pretty much me just breaking down everything I have as far as like what's completed already, what needs to be completed and all that good stuff. That helps you when you're trying to start a business and run a business. So, got that out the way. Now, I don't need a cash register right now, a POS machine. That's something I would need eventually when I get a building. But what I do have is one of those card readers. I'm gonna let you guys see what I have. I have one of these through Square uh, and you can take chips and all that stuff. Um, and people can also tap and pay as well. And that's connected to my phone through my Bluetooth. So I can take it anywhere I go. But, um, yeah. All right, so let's talk about uh, distributors. So, for, I'm going to give you, let me see how many I got. So, there's Young's GA. And with Young's GA, I think the minimum was $150. Shipping is not free, but the shipping didn't cost a lot. So with everything plus the shipping, I only came out paying $187. So that's not bad, okay? So with Young's GA, and it's in Georgia, um, they have quite a bit, a few things on there. They have, uh, let me see if I can go to their website. They have... Um, 
like the beauty supplies that I showed you. Um, the hair that they have is not good. I think they have hair. I'm not sure. Um, but this is what their website look like. Um, I have to turn the light down. Hold on. Oh. Okay, so this is what their website look like. Oh, turn that light back up. So this is what their website look like. Young's DA. Wholesale with cap collections, wig supplies, wig caps. Let me see. Let's scroll through. You can get eyelashes. You can get the uh, makeup. They have a uh, jewelry and all that stuff. Um, they got hair clippers. They got all that stuff. They got the um, razor combs. They got everything. This is just, let me see if I can pull it. Let me see. So we're gonna scroll through. There we go. Let's see. It's just some stuff that they have on here, and the prices are very reasonable. Um, that's just a few stuff. I can't really go into detail because, uh, yeah. All right, so. Young GA, I will put their website down below. Their limit or their minimum is $150, no free shipping. Then you have Marlo Beauty. Um, let's see, I haven't ordered from them. From them, you can tell I'm country. I haven't ordered from them, but let me see, their minimum is $100 and it's free shipping. And saying it's so it's the free shipping over hundred dollars, and you get same day shipping if you order by two p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They have stuff like color, Wella color, uh, um, bleach developers. They have all that good stuff. Shampoos. They have like a lot of different um, brands on there as well. I haven't ordered for them, but you can order for them in bulk. There's two different type of accounts that you have to set up with Wella. You can just log in to register a, a regular account, and then you can make a wholesale beauty supply account as well. So the prices will be, will be different. So you just have to pay attention to that when you go to their website. Um, pay attention to the prices. Like say if you're looking up shampoo, and you just Google this shampoo, you notice this shampoo is only $5 in the store. And you Google it and they send a wholesale is five dollars. Some is not right. Wholesale should always be even if it's just a dollar cheaper, it should always be cheaper than what you would buy for in the store. Because you gotta make a profit for make a profit when you sell it on your website, okay? Okay. Okay, next is my hair. Uh, I will put that down. So on that website, you can actually get braiding hair. They got wigs, they got weaves, they got micro braiding hair. They have color, they have lashes, they have everything. And they have this thing called COD, cash on delivery. So when you go and put your order in and you go to pay, they don't have free shipping as well, so you got to pay for the shipping. So when you go and pay for your purchase, if you don't want to pay for it now, you can pay for it when it get delivered. And it's called cash on demand, but it has to be in a money order. And then you have to add an extra like $20 to the money order as well because they they charge for that, which is not bad. So if you don't want to pay for it now and you want to pay for it when it comes in a couple of days, you can do that. So that's an option. They have quite a bit of stuff. They have some good stuff. Um, we have Bilo Beauty, which is about the same as my hair. They, I don't know, they might be sister companies or whatever, but they pretty much have the same thing. I don't know if they do the cash on demand, uh, I mean, cash on delivery option. I haven't really searched their site. Then you have wholesale braiding hair. Wholesale braiding hair, they say the limit is, if I'm not mistaken, let me see. They, their limit, they don't have free shipping. Um, so with wholesale braiding hair, let's see, they have like braiding gel, they have some beauty supplies like rubber bands and razor combs and stuff like that. They have jam, um, 
brushes, some combs and stuff like that. They sell Edge, Bo Edge Booster, uh, Edge Control. They have lashes and eyelash gel. They have uh, scarves, uh, ponytails. Uh, they have razors and stuff like that. Um, so as far as shipping in their limit. Um, okay, all orders. So it, I'm guessing the minimum is maybe 150 to $250 because it mentioned all orders over $250 must be verified with identification. We will not ship any order over $250 unless you have purchased from us before. We will contact you and ask you if your ID ask you for your ID if it's your first purchase. And if your order is over our minimum, this is to prevent fraud and the potential loss from chargebacks on higher risk orders. So I'm guessing they order minimum is two fifty, but it was saying orders over two fifty must be verified. So I'm I'm guessing they orders two fifty. If you're a new member, they're gonna verify your ID and all that stuff. I have not ordered from them yet, but I have stuff saved in the cart to order from them or whatever. Okay. So next we have mm, Lala Express, which is like another company like Young's GA. My Hair and Bilo Beauty. Next we have is For You Hair Unlimited. And I know for sure they are black owned. They're located in Florida. Uh, you can set up an account with them. Um, and the minimum is $500. I have not ordered for them, but pretty much everything that they have on hair, they have on, they have weaves, they have braiding hair, they have crochet hair, they have ponytail hair, they have wigs track hair they have all that they don't have like supplies like gel and jam and combs and all this stuff mainly it's just hair five hundred dollars um minimum and they charge for shipping so all those companies that i mentioned are going to be in a well in my description top description box down below <laughs> um I will have their websites. So with these companies or these distributors, you do not have to verify that you're in business, like your business license and all that stuff. Some may ask you for your um, license number. Um, you can give them your sales tax ID number. Um, the next video I will do will mention the other companies that you will have to verify your business. And I do have an account with one of them. Um, so yeah that's that y'all check out the website links below check out my website and purchase a purchase you a, a hair wrap that i make purchase you some beauty supplies purchase you well i only got two weeks left so purchase you a wig if it's available um but yeah so don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye